an alien organism born from the depths of Mars, unleashes a deadly game of survival in space, leaving a team of astronauts fighting for their lives. As the tension rises and the body count grows, humanity faces a threat unlike anything it has ever encountered. The movie opens in outer space, where a team of astronauts aboard the International Space Station prepare to catch the Pilgrim, a satellite capsule floating through a meteor storm. However, the Pilgrim is damaged and loses its destination, so one of the astronauts, Rory, prepares to step outside and tries to capture the capsule with the ship's mechanism. The capsule is important as it contains a sample from Mars that will prove life on Mars. Rory is now outside trying to capture the capsule, but the capsule slams into the station. However, it is retrieved at last. Inside the station, biologist Hugh carefully studies the sample they've recovered. Looking at it under a microscope, he discovers an organism almost fossilized in the sample, but it won't move. He tries a few times, but it doesn't react. Finally, he tries mimicking an atmosphere closer to Earth and adding a growth hormone. And finally, the organism starts moving. Everyone on board can't help but laugh as they've confirmed life on another planet. On Earth, people around the world are following the crew's mission and the prospect of discovery of new life beyond Earth. The crew talks with students and allows them to name the organism, and they end up naming him Calvin. Back at the station, the crew goes on with their tasks. We meet Miranda as she checks David's health. She is worried he has been in the station for a long time, almost breaking the record for the longest time in space. They continue testing the organism the following day, and Hugh is shocked to find out that Calvin has grown rapidly and even developed a neural network. Upon further investigation, Hugh sees that each cell of Calvin can perform multiple functions, meaning that Calvin's cells are simultaneously a muscle cell, a nerve cell, and a photoreceptor cell. Later that evening, the crew gathers for dinner as Sho watches his wife give birth and introduces his newborn to the crew. Several weeks go by and the crew is suddenly woken up by an alarm. Rory rushes to fix the malfunction while Hugh goes in to check on Calvin. At this moment, Miranda suggests that Calvin should be kept contaminated as it's an alien species and that Hugh should become attached to it. Later, the crew suspects that Calvin has gone into hibernation when the lab malfunctions. This hibernation stage allows the crew to consider the contamination, and they agree that the lab should be sealed off at all times. Since Hugh is extremely invested in Calvin, he decides to revive Calvin with an electroshock wand. After a little jolt, Calvin wakes up and wraps himself around Hugh's right hand. Calvin manages to break off the wand. Hugh remains calm, trying to pull away from Calvin. But slowly, Calvin starts squeezing Hugh's hand, breaking off his fingers as he latches on multiple items in the lab. The crew outside the lab tries to go in and help him, but Miranda advises them to stay behind as they can't risk another crew member. As they argue, Calvin has already broken Hugh's hand. Hugh, now unconscious, floats around the room as Calvin tries everything to break free. He manages to do it and leaves the crew in pure shock. Calvin finds the lab rat and immediately starts attacking it, and eventually wraps around the rat and ingests him. At this moment, Rory goes into the lab to get Hugh out, but as he does, Calvin wraps himself around Rory's leg, forcing David to close the door on Rory. Rory proceeds to get Calvin off his leg by burning him with an oxygen candle. As Calvin lets go, Ekaterina gives the order to kill Calvin. Rory burns him with an incinerator, but Calvin hides and manages to attack Rory from behind and slowly makes his way inside his mouth. He slowly kills Rory from the inside until Rory is no longer moving. Calvin then crawls out and is even bigger as he escapes through a vent. Ekaterina quickly issues a distress call to NASA, but Sho realizes that the transmission has failed and they'd have to fix it from the outside. Ekaterina goes outside and finds that the transmitter is overheated and the coolant is empty, suggesting that Calvin may have reached it. Back in the station, Hugh, now conscious, suggests that the lack of oxygen on Mars is probably what kept something like Calvin dormant for so long, and he suggests that it could be responsible for wiping out life on Mars. As Hugh talks to Ekaterina, Calvin jumps out of the coolant chamber and latches onto Ekaterina. She starts making her way back to the station, but notices that Calvin has cut into her coolant system, causing her helmet to fill up with toxic fluids. David and Miranda rush to the airlock to help Ekaterina inside. As she reaches the airlock, David needs her help to open it, 
but Ekaterina turns in the opposite direction. Miranda notices that she is locking herself outside to prevent Calvin from entering. Eventually, she drowns and floats out into space while Calvin jumps on the station, trying to find a way back inside. Inside the station, Hugh tries to ensure everyone that Calvin would not have survived for this long outside, while Sho reminds everyone that he could re-enter the station from the thrusters. They monitor the thrusters, and each time there is a temperature change, Sho ignites them. However, this forces the station to steer off course, and they need the rest of their fuel to get back into a proper orbit, even if it means letting Calvin back inside. Hugh notices that Calvin is back in the station, and suggests that they should simulate the same atmosphere as on Mars to force Calvin into hibernation. The crew seals themselves in one pod, while they let the oxygen out from the rest of the station. Inside the pod, Hugh is slowly getting weaker and weaker, and he passes out. As they try to stabilize him, Miranda notices something moving on his leg. She unzips his pants and finds Calvin feeding on his leg. Miranda tries to shock Calvin, but as she does, Calvin rises, bigger than ever before, and all of them start running. She ends up in one of the sleeping pots, while David and Miranda go back to get Hugh. David notices that Calvin has swallowed a tracker from Hugh's suit, so he and Miranda can keep their eyes on Calvin and his movements. They lock themselves in one of the pods and start suffocating Calvin. All of a sudden, David notices that Earth Control has sent a Soyuz capsule to get them back to Earth. However, Miranda reveals that the Soyuz isn't there to help them, but to push them further into space, to make sure no alien life ever reaches the Earth. Thinking the Soyuz is there to save them, Sho steps out of the sleeping pod and rushes to the capsule, but Calvin is right behind him. As David and Miranda try to reach Sho, they see a Soyuz astronaut getting devoured as Sho tries to escape. Suddenly, the capsule breaks away from the station, and they start decompressing. Sho tries to prevent being sucked out, but Calvin latches onto his leg and starts climbing on him, slowly reaching Miranda. At this point, Sho grabs Calvin and allows himself to be sucked out. However, Calvin still manages to come back, and David quickly grabs Miranda and locks Calvin out. With the oxygen levels dropping and their trajectory headed back towards the decaying orbit, David and Miranda come up with a plan to lure Calvin with an oxygen candle, since oxygen is what Calvin is looking for. David plans on getting in one of the pods along with Calvin and setting out into space, while Miranda can take another pod and head towards Earth to tell everyone what happened. As David successfully lures Calvin into his pod, Miranda begins making her way to the other pod. Both of them launch their pods and start separating. However, both of them come across the debris and begin malfunctioning. David tries to remain on his trajectory toward deep space, but Calvin slowly starts crushing him. As both pods are malfunctioning, from a distance, we can see that one of them is making its way towards Earth. The pod lands on Earth in the ocean near a boat with two fishermen. They make their way to the pod and discover David stuck in some kind of goo. Meanwhile, Miranda is sent helplessly screaming into deep space. David struggles to tell the fishermen not to open the pod, but as he does, more and more boats pull up trying to open the pod, unknowingly bringing themselves closer to disaster. Subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notifications so you never miss any of them.